Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This is the second video in the Nextian display series. In this video, we will see how to send some string from the STM32 MCU to the Nextian display. Let's start with the Nextian editor first. Create a new file. I am going to name it strings. Select your display type. And display orientation. I am going to add a background picture first. I have few images resized to fit this display so I will use one of those. You can check the introduction video, if you want to know about how to resize the image. Let's add a picture element to this display. Let's resize it. I think we need to link it to the image first. So now the entire screen is covered with the background image. Let's add a text field, where we will display our text. I am adding one more. Note the object name for this field, as we will use it in our code. This have the object name as T0. The second text file have object name as T1. This white background looks weird. Let's make some changes in this background. Click style, and select cropped image. Now in the pick, select the same image that you have for the background. Do the same for the second text field. Now let's add the fonts. If you already have fonts, you can load them, or else generate new fonts. This looks good, let's save it. Add the fonts to your project. Now let's change the text color also. This is all we need for this project, click save and compile this. Let's debug this project to see how the sending and receiving works. So this is how our final display will look like. This here we can send the commands to this display. Let's send some string to the first field. Here T0 is the object name, text is the field, and hello is the string that I want to display. As you see we have the string on the display. Also note that there are no spaces in between the entire command. Let's see this command in hexadecimal format. Here we have t, 0, dot, t, x, t, equals, quote, h, e, l, l, o, quote. This is the command we sent. And it is followed by 0 cross ff three times. Let's send the string to the object T1.
Here you can see the string is again followed by the 30 cross ff. So basically, whenever we send some command to this display, we need to send this, 3 times 0 cross ff in the end. Let's upload this to the display. I have my TTL device connected to the COM4. Connect the RX to TX and TX to RX, as shown in the figure. Click Upload, select the COM port, and click Upload. You can see the uploading has begun. I will fast forward this part. And there we go, we have the new content on the display. Now let's start the cube IDE. I am using STM32 F103 controller. Give some name to this project, and click finish. Let's start our basic setup, and enable the external crystal for the clock. Select UART, so that we can communicate with the display. Make sure that you select the board rate of 9600. It won't work with any other board rate. These are the TX and RX pins for the communication. Let's go to the clock setup now. I have 8 MHz crystal, and I am running the controller at 72 MHz. Click save to generate the project. Let's start the programming part now. First of all, I am creating an array of those end commands, they are, 0 cross ff, 3 times. Now let's create a function to send the string to the display. This function will take two parameters. First is the object name, and second is the string that we want to send. Now let's create a buffer to store all the data. I will use sprintf to combine all the strings. The format was object name, dot text, equal to string. Now send this buffer via the UART. and then send the end commands. Now I am going to send hello in T0, and world in T1. Let's build this. We got some errors. Oh this is supposed to be a string here. Let's build again. Now we have no errors but few warnings. This one is about sprintf, so let's include the stdio.h file. I still have one warning, and that's because I am trying to pass the pointer to the character here. So I will just typecast this. All looks okay, let's debug the code now. Let's run this. So we hit the breakpoint. 
When I step over this function, the string got updated in T0. And now in T1 also. I will just remove the breakpoint now, and let it run freely. Let's have a bit more fun with this. So I will send these set of strings every 2 seconds. Let's run this. And you can see the strings are being updated every 2 seconds. So we saw how can we send the string to the Nextian display. This is it for this video. In the next video, I will cover the buttons. Where we will see how to receive data from the display, whenever a button is pressed, and how to proceed this data. You can download the related files from the description of this video. Keep watching and have a nice day ahead.